Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. Hello, Merritt. How's it going? Hi. How you doing, Wilson? Good. And you know, as I watched this, I said to her, I said to myself, is this like acting one-on-one for you? <laughs> when you're playing, when you're playing opposite, when you're just basically, for the most part, by yourself, talking to a duck. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, that, yes. I think the, the short answer is, yeah. Um, and it wasn't until I kind of, you know, I watched the episode. I didn't watch it with like both eyes open. I sometimes have to approach episodes or things that I've been, been in sideways. Like I'll have them playing in the background and then I'll go pay bills or like clean. But I did, it really dawned on me when I was trying to revisit the final product, like that there's not a lot of other people to cut away to. Um, but I think um, that was one of the draws to try to enter into this extraordinary kind of unbelievable circumstance and then have the task of staying as believable as possible within that um within that structure we're not giving out any spoilers because we want people to watch the entire episode uh and mm -hmm. all of the other episodes all the episodes are totally different from the other what's the best way of referencing what your episode's about i would say that i play a woman who um at a time of great uncertainty and recent loss in her life, enters into a romantic relationship with a duck. That's what I would say. Pure and simple, pure and simple. Yeah. And then when you were given the option of doing a series, you know, were you given an option as far as which of the episodes you wanted to do or were you given this episode? No, they came to me and said, would you like to do an episode of a woman who is in an emotionally abusive relationship with a duck. Um, and I said, yeah. <laughs> and what was your first response? Before you even answer that, you know, you've done a lot of different things. What goes into saying yes to the projects you take? Yeah. Um, it's always the material. Um, it's always the material, but there are different factors. Uh, but this was a way to do something different, something that I certainly hadn't done before. Um, in a very kind of contained amount of time and with people that I'd worked with before and that I knew and, and people who I trusted. So it was a, a bit of a no brainer. So you knew this would be fun because you were in good trusted hands. I know Liz and Carly and I was a fan of their show Glow. So yeah, yeah, I was eager to get to go back to work with them. It was also um, almost my first job back after COVID. So that gave it, I think, um, an added level of significance um, and made it kind of special to be going back to work with people that I loved and people that frankly I'd been missing for a year. So now I was getting paid to be indoors with them. And, you know, if we remember back to that time, it's actually it was quite a big deal to get to do that. Having said that, obviously, you know, everybody wants to go back to work no matter what, you know, even though, we all want to be careful. Um, knowing, obviously, you're a fan of their work, you trust their work, was there any hesitation? Because I'm sure at the time you shot, you still had to go through all these protocols. Yeah, but it also was time to go to work. Um, but yeah, it is this new um, element in my job. You know, when I go to work, I, I can't do it remotely and I can't keep my mask on. So no. it is now like, um, you know, the elephant in the room when I go to work. And I well, work very hard to not be thinking about it while I'm at work because then I can't do my job, but yeah. It's the well, the good thing about it is that this episode was lighthearted compared to some of the others, you know? So yeah. I definitely had a kick of it watching it. So wherever you're at, stay safe and hopefully we'll talk down the road. <laughs> Thank you, you too, take care.